it's time to go back to the very beginning. Hey guys, Dimension Gamer here. Sorry, Dimension Gamer 2.0 here, I guess I need to say now. Bringing you The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. If you guys haven't seen the uh, my little trailer videos, I'm back. And this time, I've taken all the problems I had into consideration, and I've really worked through them this time. Alright, just like I did before, I'm gonna go with my name. So anyone who is not familiar with my channel will know, it's John. And let's get into it. In the vast, deep forest of Hyrule, long have I served as the guardian spirit. I am known as the Deku Tree. The children of the forest, the Kokiri, live here with me. Each Kokiri has his or her own guardian fairy. However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy. Navi, Navi, where art thou? Come hither. Oh, Navi the fairy, listen to my words, the words of the Deku Tree. Dost thou sense it? The climate of evil descending upon this realm. Malevolent forces are now... Malevolent forces even now are mustering to attack our land of Hyrule. For so long, the Kukiri Forest, the source of life, has stood as a barrier, deadering outsiders and maintaining the order of the world. But, before this tremendous evil power, even my power is as nothing. It seems the time has come for the boy without a fairy to begin his journey. The youth whose destiny it is to lead Hyrule to the path of justice and truth. Nami, go now! Find our young friend and guide him to me. I do not have much time left. Fly, Navi, fly. The fate of the forest, nay, the world depends upon me. So something you guys may have noticed if you're watching this at the time of uh, posting, I am posting, or I am going to post the original videos I had recorded for each of the series, uh, along with them as I do them again. I don't think I have, like, the random video stuff, but I don't really think that's all that big of a deal. John, wake up! The great Deku Tree wants to talk to you. John, get up! Hey, hey come on! Can High Rule's destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? Finally woke up. I'm Navi, the fairy. The great Deku Tree asked me to be your partner from now on. Nice to meet you. The great Deku Tree has summoned you, so let's get going right now. Alrighty. So, uh, let me go over stuff real quick. 
there on the top left, you will see hearts. That is your health. The bottom left is where your rupees, which is money, uh, indicator is. And then up here at the top right, the B is, like, your attack. The blue is, like, an action button, so, like, to interact. And then the yellow buttons are your item buttons. If we hit start, we see that... I hit the wrong button. We see that we have different uh, menus here. Like, we've got a map. A quest status screen. Which will hold, like, uh... Kind of like story progression items. Then we have our equipment screen. And our item screen. Kokiri Forest. Yahoo! Hi, John! Alrighty, let's turn back and back for Wow, a fairy? Finally, a fairy came to you, John. Wow, that's great news. I'm so happy for you. Now you're a true Kokiri. Is that right? The Great Deku Tree has summoned you? It's quite an honor to talk to the Great Deku Tree. I'll wait for you here. Get going. Go see the Great Deku Tree. Alrighty, well, let's go talk to him. Hey, you, Mr. No Fairy. What's your business with the Great Deku Tree? Without a fairy, you're not even a real man. What? You got a fairy? Say what? The Great Deku Tree actually summoned you? What? Why would he summon you and not the Great Mido? This isn't funny. I don't believe it. You aren't even fully equipped yet. How do you think you're going to help the Great Deku Tree without both a sword and shield ready? What? You're right. I don't have my equipment ready, but... If you want to pass through here, you should at least equip a sword and shield. Sheesh. Well, damn, buddy. He's not... Alright, so he's not going to let us through until we have a sword and shield. Obviously, if you look at our equipment screen, we don't have... I'm hitting the wrong button again. I need to change that. We don't have either. Oh. Down here on the bottom right is our map. The red arrow is where we came from. The yellow arrow is where we currently are. Uh, up C is to talk to Navi. The great Deku Tree has summoned you. Please come with me. Well, you see, this guy here won't let me pass. Okay. Uh, if we come over here and we jump on all three of these, we'll get five rupees. As we see back here is another five. Uh, blue rupees are worth five. And then green are worth one. Red is worth 20. And purple is worth 50. As you guys have probably also noticed, I have a new screen layout. Information will appear on the, uh information box on the right. Counter stuff, like death counters, will appear on the bottom. And then obviously gameplay is on the left. Okay, we got another blue rupee over here, so that's 15 already. This brings us up to 22. Visit the house of the Know-It-All Brothers to get answers to your to all your item-related questions. So to open a chest, just run up to it and then hit A. You got the cook You got the Kukiri sword! On the equipment screen, subscreen, select it with the cursor and equip it with A. This is a hidden this is a hidden treasure of the Kokiri, but you can borrow it for a while. Be sure to practice with it before you really fight. Alright, so to equip it, we just go to our pause menu, go up to the sword and hit A. I'm waiting for this boulder to pass. Alright, I'm gonna come this way. If we try to pick this up, I don't think we can. No. We can't. But we can cut it out. Ah! 
There's a heart. Uh, finding hearts, like, on the field will, uh, or, well, on the ground, I should say, will restore some health. There you are. Uh, cutting that sign has uh, hidden five rupees in it. Alright, let's see here. Let's go here first. There's a few stops I want to make. I can teach you about the icons at the top of the screen. So I've already explained the yellow and blue icons, really, so I don't see much need. You're going to explain anyway. I hit B! Oh well. The three yellow icons in the upper right are called the C icons. They display the things you can use with the uh, left C, down C, and right C buttons. Once you get a C button item, go into the select item subscreen and select it to one of the three C buttons. The blue icon at the top of the screen is called the action icon. This action icon shows you what action you will perform when you press A. Stop in many spots to see the different things you can do. Do you want to know how to use the up C button? If you press up C, you can change your view. Oh, I didn't mention that. In the place like this, in a place like this, it will switch to a top-down view outdoors in a field, for example, it will switch to a first-person perspective. Also, when Navi is displayed in the upper right of your screen, Navi the fairy wants to talk to you. Use up C to listen to her. If you want to learn about the map and items, just ask me. But don't ask unless you want to hear a long explanation. What do you want to know about? The map. There is a map displayed at the bottom right of the screen. The yellow arrow shows your current position and direction you are facing. The red mark shows where you entered the area from. You can turn the map display on and off with the L button. If you want to see the name of a place, press start. You'll get into to the subscreen, select the map subscreen. On the map subscreen, you can see a map of Hyrule. Did you get all that? There are three kinds of items. Equipment items, C button items, and quest items. Equipment items are things like the sword, shield, and clothes that are effective when you when you equip them. C button items can be set to left C, down C, or and right C and used by pressing those buttons. Quest items are things you collect during your adventure. You just carry them around. If you want to change equipment or just check on your inventory, press start. You will get into the subscreens. Switch to one of the four different subscreens with Z and R to change or check items as you please. Take a look around. When you decide to equip an when you decide to equip an equipment item, press A for the C buttons. Press left C, down C, or right C. That was a pretty long explanation. Did you understand everything? Okay, it wasn't as long as I thought it was going to be. Oh, a fairy! Finally came to you! Now you have a lot to learn. The best place to go learn some new skills is in the Forest Training Center. It's on the hill just above here. That's the Training Center? Huh. You're not allowed to leave the forest. The great Deku Tree said that if a Kokiri leaves the woods, he or she will die. Not a thing to tell children. Alright. Nobody is here, so I don't think they'll mind if we loot their chests. Green Rupee, that's worth one. I think two of these are recovery hearts. Yep, there's one. Five rupees. And another five rupees. Nope, never mind. I was wrong. A by the stone, pick it up. A by the stone, pick it up. 
mean old Mido. He made me pick up the rocks in front of his house. Oh, or in front of Mido's house? I guess I don't feel bad for taking his stuff then. So yeah. Just like he was saying. You just stand by a rock. Hold still. Press A to pick it up. And then when the icon says throw, you can throw it. When, uh... Let me try to show it off here. If stuff sits around too long... It'll start to disappear. So you don't want to leave it set there for too long. Like, I lost that one rupee because of... I didn't get to it in time. So, if you're playing along, do be cautious of that. We got another rock back here. Oh, you have a fairy now? That's great, John. What? You've been called by the great Deku Tree? What an honor! He may give you a special gift, he. That's because the great Deku Tree is our father, the forest guardian, and he gave life to all of us Kukiri. I got a few questions, but I'm not gonna ask. Uh, oh, there's somebody here. My sister took some rupees and went shopping at the store that has a red roof. Speaking of rupees, a green one is worth one, a blue is worth five, and a red is worth twenty. Hee hee. She's there, so we'll leave her pots alone. That meanie Mido made me cut the grass at Saria's house. Mido told Saria he would do it so she would like him, but I'm the one doing all the work. You and Saria are close friends, so will you help me cut the grass? I'll let you keep anything that you find while cutting it. So yeah, cutting grass, as we I think we might have saw before, has a chance of giving you rupees, hearts, or other things. Did I go in here? I don't think I did. No, I didn't. There are just some recovery hearts in here. I'm at full health, so I was just gonna leave them be, but okay. Because I don't think those return. Oh, they do return! Sweet! I don't know why as a kid I had trouble with this. Like, staying on this bridge. Like, it was hard for me to do, but I wanted those five rupees. <laughs> you came all the way up here. You're a real man. Look, isn't this view pretty? Change your viewpoint with the up C button so you can look around the forest with the control stick. So yeah, as I'm not done, we can look around. It's inverted controls. I hate that. For up and down. And I don't understand. Like, some people say that is easier for him. I don't understand how. When I press up, I expect to look up, not down. Um, uh, hi? Hi, John, look this way. Look over here with the Z button and talk to me with A. Yes, yes, that's how you use a fairy. It's so great that you can finally have a fairy partner. I'll teach you how to talk to people using your fairy. When a fairy flies near a person or thing, press Z to look in that direction. If you use Z targeting, you can talk to people from a distance, like we're doing now. When you have nothing that you can target, you can press the Z button just to look, just to look forward. Try it. So yeah. If we turn around and then I hit the Z button, or LZ in my case, because I'm on the Wii U Virtual Console, my camera will change direction. Oh no! If Navi locks on to someone or something, uh, you can press like ZL to get your screen back. Before we do anything, we want to run back here because there's a hidden five rupees. 
This shop, it sells things you can get in the forest for free, Tihi. Do you know how to use the Deku Shield, Tihi? When you get in the shield... When you get in the shield? When you get the shield, press start to get into the subscreen. Select the equipment subscreen with ZRR. On the equipment subscreen, choose the item you want to equip and press A button to equip that item. Once you equip it, hold it up with the R button and change its angle with the control stick. Tee Welcome! We sell shields, but not swords. So, a lot of this stuff we actually can't buy yet, even though we have the money. Um, like deck you seeds, you can use them as bullets for your slingshot. You can't buy them unless you have a slingshot. Arrows are the same, but we gotta have a bow. We could buy a recovery heart, but it wouldn't do us any good right now because we're at full health. All of this stuff we can, but as that girl mentioned, a lot of this stuff is found free in the forest, so don't really buy the nuts or the stick. What we do want to buy, however, is the Deku Shield. Once equipped, you can defend with R, the R button. If set on fire, it will burn, so do keep that in mind. You got a Deku Shield! Switch, switch to the equipment subscreen and select the shield. Press A to equip it. Press the R button to crouch and defend. If you press R while Z targeting, you can move while defending. Alrighty, so we're going to want to do this. And something I'm going to do, because I'm going to keep hitting this button, is I'm actually going to change my my uh, controller settings real quick. Uh, there you are. I want you to be... What do I want it to be? I don't know what I want it to be. <laughs> oh, I do want it to be R. Really? I don't remember having to press R to use shield back on the 64. Okay. But I'll take it. If you want to see the Great Deku Tree, you should at least equip a sword and shield. Uh -huh. What's that? Oh, you have a Deku Shield? And what's that? Is that the Kokiri Sword? Good grief! Well, even with all that stuff, a wimp is still a wimp, huh? I, the Great Mido, will never accept you as one of us. Shoot, how do you get to be the favorite of Saria and the Great Deku Tree, huh? Rumble, rumble. Alright, we can finally pass through, but as we get over here, we see we have an enemy. One thing we can do is have Navi lock onto an enemy, and then when we press up C, she'll give us information. I deck you, Baba. Though it looks withered, it will hurt you if you touch it. So obviously if you walk into it, you're going to get hurt. I could have swore that they, uh, maybe these guys just don't, but I thought they, uh, actually came up and attacked you. I'm pretty sure they do. Pretty easy to kill. One slash is enough to kill them. You got a deck, you stick! On the select item subscreen, you can set it to the left C, down C, or right C buttons. Set it to C and swing it with C. When you want to put it away, stand still and press A, the A button. You can carry up to 10 sticks, but don't waste them. So if we pause and we go to our item subscreen, we see that we have three sticks. If the item number is white, that means we can carry more. If it's green, that means we have as many as we can carry. Wait, why did I hear that music? Oh well. Great Deku Tree, I'm back!
Oh, Navi. Thou has... Hasn't? <laughs> Thou has returned. John, welcome. Listen carefully to what I, the Deku Tree, am about to tell thee. Thy slumber these past moons must have been restless and full of nightmares. Been there, man. I've been there. As the servants of evil gain strength, a vile climate pervades the land and causes nightmares to those sensitive to it. Verily thou hast felt it. John, the time has come to test thy courage. I have been cursed. I need you to break the curse with your wisdom and courage. Dost thou have courage enough to undertake this task? No. Perhaps you do not yet have confidence in your abilities. Return to the Kukiri Forest to learn the skills of combat. When thou art ready, return here and speak with me by using the Z button. You know, you gotta think of how confused Lee, or Lee? How confused Link is. Because he's like, why does everyone keep telling me to press buttons? What buttons are they talking about? Anyway, I'm gonna end this off here. Next time on The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. We head into, well, we head into the Deku Tree to help him out and hopefully lift his curse. See you guys then. Hopefully then, we'll have the courage to do so.